segments that that won't be. How, how's your work on special teams coming along, knowing that there's been some rule changes? I think it's great. I, I love I love it. I, I think we've done a lot of research with with the rule with what's gone on in the NFL and studying the NFL and, and the teams that are, have great returns there. And um, I think we have the personnel to be a very good return team on kickoff return and dealing with the, with the wedge issue. Uh, I love our two kickers. Uh, I think Will and, and Eric are fantastic. Um, and I, I think for us that the real key is that the one that I want to make sure that we're really locked in on is our punt return unit because we've got the athletes to go after punts now. Is there someone that's, I mean, obviously it's still early in camp, but is there a, a core group of guys in that return unit that you really like? Well, well, the kickoff guys were, were, in my opinion, were loaded. You know, you, you think about Chris Polk and Deontay Cooper and Jesse Collier, um, and then you, you throw in a Desmond Trufant who's back there now and healthy and running well, and a Kevin Smith. I mean, we're a pretty talented group that way on kickoff return, and you know, I'm very happy with Devin back there returning punts. You know, I think now that he's fully recovered and healthy, um, he, I think he's got a nice feel, and we started to see that there at the end of the year in his punt return game. Put a few guys on scholarship last night. Yeah. How did that? How did that kind of work itself? Well, we just we have room. Yeah. You know, we have room. We're, we're way under. You know, realistically, right now we're only at, we only had 78 scholarships of our 85. Um, so we had room to put guys on, and we put five guys on that I think were deserving of it, who have worked extremely hard, uh, not only on the football field but in the classroom, in the weight room. I think they um, represent the University of Washington extremely well, and I'm proud of them. Brandon Hooper, in particular, kind of overcame the injury. Sure, so did Greg Christine, yeah, Brandon yeah, Hooper. Yeah, Greg, yeah. Uh, I think Brandon Lopez has really earned it. He's our starting long snapper. Um, Danny Kanzigowski, I, I think, has earned it. You know, he's in our two deep right now on the offensive line. And uh, Jonathan Amosa, I think, exemplifies everything you could ask for a kid of just working his tail off day in and day out. He's, he's probably the guy that seems like we would probably know the least about. What, what is he, what's he kind of done? Uh, he's just worked his tail off. He's a good student. He, he works extremely hard in the weight room. Um, the kids really respect him uh, on all the service team stuff that he does and special teams work. And um, it, It's not always about giving the scholarship to the guy that plays on Saturday. It's, it's the opportunity of rewarding a kid for the hard work that he puts in. So if I'm doing my math right, then you're at 83. So is, yeah. that, is that intentional to leave it at 83? Or? Well, you, you, know, you always got to have a little wiggle room, you know? <laughs> Uh, I just I want to just pick up on one thing, and I don't know if this is kind of a public service announcement or a, or what, but this is more to our fans that are here that are coming to watch practice. And I love having open practices, um, but I want them to respect the fact that they're open and that we're working and we're trying to get better, and 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 not go on the internet, and not go on blogs, and talk about what we're doing and how we go about our business. Because ultimately, if if it continues, I'm going to have to close them, and I don't want to do that. I want to have give our fans access to our practice and the way we work. I love the atmosphere out here, but competitively, if it continues, we're going to have to shut it down. Is there something in specific that? Uh, there's just been a few issues that have popped up uh, that have been brought to my attention that um, that it's not okay. You know, it's not okay. F f competitively for us that things are getting put out there of what we're doing specifically or the way we're coaching things specifically um, it, it's not okay so hopefully uh, our fans respect that and come out and enjoy watching our guys compete in battle and, and leave it at that and, and we can continue to leave them open I, I guess can you define like what you would like that if they you know they just want to say they were here and well I think okay they, I think say. they can say it was a great practice the intensity was good or whatever that may be if it was 85 degrees it was 85 degrees but going into specifics of drills uh, plays uh, uh, interactions between players or interactions between players and coaches or between coaches and coaches I, I don't think is acceptable I think the bottom line is common sense I think you push the common sense button when you when you're on the internet